Hi friends, my name is Satish Kumar Purswani and welcome back to God of Gizmos. Today I am going to unbox and do a review of Asus Zenfone Laser 3 which cost around 15,000 in market now. But before that I would like to thank all 400 and plus subscribers on my channel. Thank you for supporting us. And I would also like to thank Chandarlal Jani for providing me this handset for doing unboxing and review. Without wasting much time, let's get started. While I am doing unboxing of this phone, I would simultaneously like to tell you the configuration of this phone. This phone was launched in August 2016. It comes equipped with Qualcomm Snapdragon 430 octa-core processor clocked at 1.4 GHz and GPU Adreno 505 clocked at 450 MHz. This phone has RAM of 4 GB and internal memory of 32 GB which can be expanded up to 128 GB using micro SD card. This phone is having a hybrid SIM slot so you can use two SIM cards or one memory card and one SIM card at a time. This phone is said to be having a great camera as it comes equipped with laser sensor. That's why the phone is called Asus Zenfone Laser 3. Its primary camera is 13 megapixel and secondary camera is 8 megapixel. It comes with Android Marshmallow 6.0 and will get the upgrade soon to Nougat 7.0. It is equipped with sensors like accelerator, e-compass, cryoscope, proximity sensor, hall sensor, ambient light sensor, RGB sensor and fingerprint. If you are looking for good camera phone with budget of 15,000, I think this is the best choice. As you can see, I have already opened the packaging box. Now we will move ahead with unboxing the actual phone. I will just keep the packaging box aside. Before moving with unboxing of this phone, I would like to show you what all things are written on this box. So this model of Asus Zenfone is ZC551KL. There are other similar models available in the market. That's why I wanted to specify which model is this. I have already told you the things written on the back side of this box. But I would surely like to tell you the things I haven't told you which are written on the right side of this box. On the right side of the box it says it comes with a pixel master camera, bluetooth 4.0, full hd display, WLAN that is Wi-Fi, 4G and Gorilla Glass. Now I will start with actual unboxing of this phone. This phone is in color combination of silver at the back and white at the front. So it is said to be a silver model. Now I have removed the lamination of this box. To take the phone out, you need to slide the box towards up or down. Here comes the Zenfone Laser 3. Whoa, what a phone. There's a plastic arrow given to take the phone out of the box and take it in your hand. This phone seems to be amazing and quite lightweight when you handle it for the first time. As you can see the phone is again covered in plastic. I would like to have you a look. Build quality seems to be very nice. I will keep the phone aside as of now and would like to show you what other things are in the box. So first on the top we have user guide which says ASUS in search of incredible and the other we have warranty information form. I will just keep this aside and move ahead with the other things in the box. So first here comes the USB cable and this is the earphones provided by ASUS. I will just keep the USB cable aside. So uh, these are not the uh, normal earphones. Uh, it comes with the bird uh, like earbuds you can put inside your ears. Asus is written on both the earbuds. 3.5mm jack is uh, golden plated to protect it from rust. Uh, so here comes the charging adapter. I would like to have you a look. This is actually a normal charger with 5.2V and 1A output. The build quality of charger is very superb, I must say, uh, this is very uh, thick and heavy. I will just keep this charger aside. So uh, there is one more thing in the box that is the uh, rubber of the ear pods. You can change the size of the rubber of the ear pods. 
they have provided like the sticker of IMEA as well I don't know why it is I think it is for uh, the warranty purpose so I am uh, looking for the sim ejecting uh, tool in this box but I am unable to find I will just uh, open this box fully sim ejecting pin is usually placed on the round you can see I am marking it in red uh, that's it with the accessories in the box now we will move ahead with the phone I will just remove the plastic cover over the phone I must say the phone has very super build quality I would like to have you a look of this phone guys it is time to switch on this phone uh, are you guys able to see this I have just switched on the phone so the phone is up now it took about 25 seconds to get this phone switched on so now we are going to set up this phone for the first time so I will just change the language from English United States to English India and press next I would like to go ahead with the default input method and press next you can select internet connection uh, depending upon your requirement so I will go with mobile internet and Wi-Fi both and press next I will just set up my Wi-Fi over here and press next on this screen there is a terms and conditions you can scroll down and directly select agree so it is now asking me if you have any other device I can directly copy that device data from there to this device so I will just say no thanks and click next I won't be setting any Google account on this phone as of now I will just click skip so here it is asking me uh, for the name of my phone this name will be displayed when I will connect my phone to router or computer so it is easy to identify I will just enter the name of phone as the owner of the phone now there is agreement from the Google so I will just say agree and continue now I will just set up the fingerprint scanner on this phone so I just also need to enter the backup lock pattern or pin in case uh, if my fingerprint doesn't work I will go with pin and just select next so there is password protection given on the startup as well to protect your phone if your phone is stolen or lost as of now I will just select no thanks and click next I will just enter the simple password just to show you guys and click next so you can even uh, secure your notification in this phone if you want as of now I will say show all notification content and click next now I will just set up my fingerprint on this phone it is also asking me to create or use the existing ASUS account for personal ASUS support and 5GB of cloud storage so I will just click next 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 and come to this screen where it says Google Drive promotion so ASUS is offering 100GB of free Google Cloud Storage by default we get 15GB of Google Cloud Storage and whoever first logins on this phone will get this offer 100GB of Google Cloud Space costs around $1.99 per month however I am not aware for how long this 100GB of storage will be available to the user I will just click on redeem this offer however I won't uh, redeem this offer on my account best because this is my friend's phone and he should get this offer so I will just skip this I will also skip this uh, ASUS uh, software installation setup as of now okay so we are done with the startup now as I already told you phone has very superb build quality this phone is quite lightweight body of the phone is made up of metallic
and you can easily feel the gorilla glass on the front i will just go ahead and unlock this phone and first tell you about the main feature of this phone which is camera i will just click few random snaps and i will share the link of this uh, snaps in the description below you can check the quality of camera how the images are capturing in this phone i will share the pics captured from the front camera as well as from the rear camera so here i have already got the software update now i will take you to 360 degree tour of this mobile phone edges of this phones are nicely curved you will get the volume key plus power key on the right hand side of this phone on the right hand side you will find the sim tray uh, sim tray is of hybrid sim slot like you can put two sims or one sim and one memory card as i already told you i didn't find the sim ejection tool in this box i have uh, checked the box as well as well as i have checked the manual if i can find the ejection tool but no luck usb cable's build quality is uh, very good the, the cable is very thick i will just connect the usb cable to the mobile Uh, the connector is very tight and it is not getting inside the phone so be very careful uh, when you are plugging in the charger or the usb cable it can even damage the charging port speaker is nicely placed uh, at the bottom next to the charging point it really helps if you keep your phone off and on the bed I will just play something on the phone so you can hear the actual voice of the phone how loud it is Uh, okay i mean volume of the phone in actual is not quite low not quite high it is uh, on the medium range after the sound test uh, we will go ahead and i am just opening this folder did you see that it has got a nice animation when you open the folder now i would like to take you to the about section of this phone in the about section as you can see the phone is running on 6.0.1 android marshmallow version whereas on the box it is mentioned that the phone is running on 5.1.1 android lollipop which is not the case i will just take you to the theme center to show you the free themes available I'll just not apply any theme I will just go back As I already told you the phone is uh, quite lightweight and uh, feels very good when you, it is uh, in your hand So I have noticed one more thing that is uh, that is navigation buttons given on the bottom do not have any backlit so you might find it difficult uh, to locate the navigation buttons uh, when you are in dark I have managed to get the sim ejection pin of my Redmi Note 3 to show you the sim tray of this phone. Sim tray is quite similar to any other hybrid sim tray wherein you can put two nano sims at a time or one nano sim and one memory card. The black thing which you can see next to the camera is actually the laser sensor. which helps you capture image and do the auto focusing thing very quickly so you do not miss a shot flash is here with dual led fingerprint sensor is quite fast and camera stands a little bit out of the body there are two mics provided one at the bottom and one at the top for noise cancellation 
At the top you will also find 3.5mm jack. On the front you will find sensor for low light mode, proximity sensor, ear speaker and camera. I have managed to install the CPU Z on this phone. As you can see, phone is having Qualcomm Snapdragon 435, clocked at 1.4 GHz. This is octa-core with ARM Cortex A53, clocked at 1.4 GHz each. GPU is Adreno 505, clocked at 450 MHz. Screen resolution of the phone is 1080 into 1920 with 403 density per inch. This phone has come up with 4 GB of RAM, out of which 3.6 GB is actually available to the user. Actual internal storage is 24 GB out of which 23.59 GB is available to the user. This phone has battery of 3000 mAh. Number of sensors in this phone include magnetometer, gravity sensor, e-compass, gyroscope, proximity sensor, ambient light sensor and fingerprint. Let's move on to notification area. In the notification area you will find one button that is power and boost. I will just show you how flashlight works and how much light output it gives. To show you guys I will just put off the lights. So as you can see LED light is quite good. I'm just increasing the brightness of the phone. Brightness of the phone is quite good. Other buttons that you can find in the notification area are Auto Start Manager, Do Not Disturb, One Hand Operation and Blue Light Filter. And to do benchmark of this phone is around 44,000 uh, which I feel is not too good. I'll just click on Power and Boost. So it will actually clean up my RAM. It says it has cleaned up 431 MB of RAM. As I already said, if you are looking for a phone with good camera and average of other features, then this is the phone. If you find my video useful, do give a thumbs up to my video, share it with your friends. Don't forget to click subscribe and click bell icon button to get regular updates. Friends, you can support us by buying this phone using the link in the description below. That will not cost you more money or less money. However, it will help us. Thank you friends.